All right. Fishing down here today with three-way slip sinker rigs and night crawlers. Sort of an impromptu trip on this flooded river. I was lure fishing other places. I figured I'd stop down here. Try and do some rough fishing. There might be some game fish stacked up on that current break too. Usually that break is a lot farther out, but since it's flooded, it's right next to me. Could be catfish. I've come down here and had big catfish days on that, that current break when I can get to it. This isn't a big fish. I don't know what it is. Feels a little too small to be a your average carp, but could be wrong. Could be a carp. This is this is a really light line rig. I was just trying it out. It has six pound fluoro on it. That one has a lot heavier line on it, 15 pound test leader and main line. So I gotta really play them with this one. Awesome. Yeah, I don't have much gear for this. Very low on barrel swivels, so we'll see how today goes, but. And he's dogging it. I don't want to horse him. I also don't want him getting all this junk on shore here. Right there. <laughs> Just want to lift him up and see what he is. Can't tell. Had a big tail on him. Probably a carp. Just a small one, I'm guessing. And this drag's all sticky. can't tell. That looked really pale. Don't tell me this is a trophy walleye. I would freak out, man. Sure as heck looked pale, though. Uh, now you're scaring me. Now you're scaring me. That did not look like a carp. Oh, baby. Don't horse him. Don't horse him. Oh, come on. Oh man. It could be a cat too. Channel cats get really pale sometimes. This is definitely fighting like a cat I'd say. Feels like at least really dogging it. Come on, baby. Come on up. I'm worried you're a big walleye and I'm gonna lose you. Don't go in the stick, please. Oh, nice catfish. Yep. Wow, great catfish. Holy cow. That's a beauty. Ten pounder. <laughs> Looks like. That's what I was hoping for. Some to stack up on that current break there. All right, not a bad channel cat. Maybe a little above average. He's uh, 27 and a half and eight pounds, five ounces. Oh, let him go here. Awesome. Another fish right on that current break there on a night crawler. This guy's small. Might be game fish stacked up there. Probably a little cat though, if I had to guess. Yep. Looks like we got some catfish stacked up on the current break. Awesome. Good deal. I don't know if I'm going to get a 20 pounder in on this rig though. It'd be really tough. 
especially with all the junk in the water. There's junk out there too. We've lost really big fish and trees out in the middle here. Huge fish. A little catfish. All right. Your average one's probably like, I don't know, like 25, 26, and maybe six pounds. Depends on how girthy they are, but that one's just a average or below, a little below average, two footer, 23, 24. Ooh, baby. That fish is pulling hard. <laughs> this drag's all screwed up, though. This is the heavier rig. It's pure 15-pound test. This doesn't seem to be fighting like a cat. And this drag is really going to cost me a fish if I get a monster on. Like a real monster state record size monster you know 35 pound cat or a 50 pound carp oh yeah that's a carp finally got some good rough fish and all it took was a flood like a little flood waters up like a foot Awesome. I think it's a carp, pretty sure. It's carp colored. And this is great. Fast action too. Been here like 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, and that's not counting all like the rig tying, or that is counting all the rig tying time and whatever. You know, not bad at all. That's a decent carp. All right. He does not want to be caught, man. He is angry. Real fat guy. Awesome. Not super long, but pretty girthy. This is, I'm glad this rod's really slow action because this, this drag isn't, isn't helping. <laughs> it's helping making up for it, you know. I don't want to lose this guy. This guy's pretty girthy. Probably, I don't know. I want to make a guess. I'll just, I'll just measure him. Not a monster, but a nice one. That's what big river fishing will get you. A nice solid fish. Oh yeah, fat guy, man. There's a carp right there. That's such a fat carp. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try and treat him nice, but I'm gonna go get a measurement and a weight on him. He's uh, 36.2 inches and um, just a little under 30 pounds, 28 and a half almost. I didn't pick him up by the gills the whole time, so should be good. If I can just get deep enough here. There he goes. Awesome. Man, super hot action. Takes about 20 seconds for him to pick it up each time. Another beautiful cat, man. Doesn't get much better than this. Cats fight really hard. Sometimes I think they they probably don't fight harder in smallmouth pound for pound, but I bet you it's pretty close. And usually they're a lot heavier too. Is probably why it feels like they're they're harder fighting but they do put up a darn good fight I switched uh, I switched this rig out for all the way eight pound test lead or two instead of six pound just so I don't kill my chance at a monster not because I'm gonna it's gonna break my line or anything I'm just worried about it spooling me out to a tree in the middle and then uh, getting caught up in it I've had that happen here with really big fish before really really big fish probably dwarf that carp I just caught sort of big you know yeah 
yeah awesome I love how girthy these channels are too I got one in the low 30s last year 32 but it was just you know not that that's that big of a deal but it was only 10 pounds because of how skinny it was if it was like these guys it would have been I don't know it might have been a 15 it was like a rail that first cat especially was really fat this guy's kind of he's chunky but he's not that fat yeah 25 26 probably you know average-ish that's a fish right there taking it out Not a very big one. You know, it's pretty cool that I got that carp now that I'm thinking about it. It's been a couple of years since I got one that broke 36, but uh, 36 is uh, the Angler Award line, so I guess that's a, a big one, I guess, if you consider big above average, which is what I, that's how I usually label my videos. If I put a, if I put the word big in the title, it means I got something that broke like the catch and release angler award stuff for new york it makes it easier to less subjective to figure out what's a big one and what isn't yeah just a baby cat still a lot of fun though man i'm just happy to have some good fishing again that feels a little bigger feels like a cat too Awesome. Actually, it's slowing down a little bit. I'm just CNR and all these guys. I don't feel like cleaning a bunch of catfish tonight. Especially from this river. It's pretty polluted. It doesn't feel that big, actually. He was taking a little drag at first, but... Yeah, he's not that big. I really want a, a 20 pounder, that'd be great. Whatever that means in terms of length with these girthy guys. Probably wouldn't have to be that long, just mid 30s, you know, on a catfish. Man, I miss doing this. I have an old video where I did. I did this for like three days straight. I was really tired and I just caught, I caught so many. Carp and catfish. Conditions gotta be just right though. Normally this place sucks. One problem with this spot is all this mud gets in your line right there. That's why it's all brown. And then it turns to dust, and it makes your line get all abraded and junk when it goes through your eyelets. That's never a good thing, you know, when you're fighting, hard fighting heavy fish. And it looks like a cat. They're stacked up right on the current break. It's like a soft current break right there between fast water about 300 feet out and really slow water about 40 feet out it slowly gets faster and faster in that that stretch there and that's where they're stacked up yeah i wish i had two rods like that for this that'd be perfect this is too light of a rig you know not really a good idea but it's all i got with me Feels decent. Oh yeah. Around the same size as the first one maybe or roughly. Looks a little skinnier though. Roughly. That's not a bad one at all. Cool. 
another another little above average one. Probably not quite as long as the first one. Probably 26, 20, 26, 26 and a half, but really fat. Hot action, man. Pretty good action. Can't keep <laughs> can't keep up with two poles. It's pretty good. We even have the other one in the in the holder. Whew. Fast fish, man. There could be suckers here too. Nice ones, you know. Could be. I don't think this is a cat. It's really fast and weird. Get something else, like a little carp, maybe, or yeah, a little carp. This is like the carp side, and that's the catfish side. It seems like so. I'd switch the poles out in case I get a big cat over there, but in my experience of better snags have been over here. But that all could have changed. So what do I know? Yeah, just a little guy. Get him up here, show him to you, pop him off, and send him on his way. <laughs> this rod's just perfect for this junk. The reel's really, really bad, but <laughs> the rod's perfect. Really medium, slow action, taking all the all the punches these fish are giving. It's just a little guy. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah. That's a fish for sure. <laughs> Good size fish. This action, I was just about to say, this action seems like it's slowing down, so I might go grab some fast food or something and then come back. That feels more like a carp. Could be wrong though. It's wiggling. Definitely wiggling. I got this guy out pretty far in the faster, faster current. It's feeling lighter. <laughs> he was really ripping some drag at first when I was running over. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he is. dog in it. Oh, that looked like a cat. Nice cat. Oh, heck yeah. Glad he bit on this one. That is a beauty right there. That looks bigger than the first one. Nice channel. Heck yeah. did this years ago and I... This drag sucks, man years ago and I got so many out of here but I never got any big ones none even as big as the first one all of them biggest ones were like 26's you know when I did this years ago here that's funny that I'm getting better ones all of a sudden that's a nice one not a monster but a solid catfish you know really thick not terribly long but just a really thick guy seem bigger when he was rolling around there. It seemed like a 30 plus, but he's just, I don't know, maybe 26, 27. Really fat though. Seven pounder. Might end up being slow for the rest of the day. It's a good sized fish. That last catfish was uh, 26 and a quarter and uh, 7 pounds, 4 ounces, I think. So, another decent one. Really seemed twice as heavy in the water. They're just so thick and girthy. They just seem a lot longer than they are. I always overestimate fish whenever they're 
whenever they're thick and especially when they have a big gut. Another, another might be a cat. A lot of head shakes. This is probably a cat. Another decent one. Definitely not a monster. Yep, another channel. <coughs> I went and got some food for a bit. Now I'm back. Obviously. <laughs> Just setting back up. Water's rising too a little bit. Keep having to move back the pipes. I don't know where that foam came from. This place is a septic garbage pit. It's disgusting down here. I've gotten really sick here before from eating snacks down here while I'm fishing. It's full of bacteria. All right. Another nice one. No, not that big, but just a chunky 26 or so. Get a lot of them like that. Oh boy, double header. Oh boy. I better get that one. That's the one that's gonna spool first. Crazy. Right at the same time, I'm waiting for like 20 minutes and they both go off at the same time. All right. This one feels bigger. Double header, man. Just gotta make sure this rod doesn't get... Sometimes these rod holders, when you stick them in the mud, they'll bend over. I almost lost a rod. I was catching that pike on a sausage that day. I almost lost a rod doing that. <laughs> Double header, man. Awesome. Okay, I gotta, gotta get my bearings. Don't hork this guy. Nice and slow. Keep watching that rod, too. Alright. Yeah, that last cat was a 26 and a half. I didn't weigh him, but he was probably seven, seven and a half pounds, just judging by the others with the gut on him. So, see, that's what I'm worried about right there. Something bending it over. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I gotta focus on this guy. This guy's really effing with me come on don't don't pull that over please I don't want these lines across either so this guy's coming back this way and this guy's going that way is that a cat? I can't tell whoa I think they saw each other shoot no 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 don't cross that'll be the end of everything if these lines cross the only rigs I brought with me. Four, I have six barrel swivels. All right, whatever, let's just screw that pole. Let's just go over here. Oh boy, get off the line stick, you're gonna ruin it. I think this is a cat, a pretty decent one. Oh yeah, nice cat. I am, this is worrying me. Oh yeah, chunky, long, lanky cat. Beauty. That is a beauty right there. Oh, looks a little better than the others. A little bit. Not a monster, but a nice one. Okay, let's hurry up before that one gets pulled in. Shoot. There we go. Heavy, heavy catfish. 
Okay, I'm gonna use two hands. Here we go. Slippery too. Oh yeah, it's probably 27, 27 and a half with a huge gut, maybe between seven and eight pounds. Another decent cat for sure. All right, I'll leave you right here for a minute. I guess, or maybe not. Yeah, whatever, I'll just leave you right there. And I'll get this guy. You should be fine. Oh, man. All right. This guy doesn't feel as big. That's another cat. Really got this drag buckle down. Not good. Coming in. <laughs> oh, baby. There we go. He's not quite as big. He's, this one's probably like average size. That one's a little above average. Awesome. I'll show you this one quick, too, and then I'll unhook him and let him go. Yeah, it's like a 24, 25. And I already let that little guy go, but this guy's a nice solid one. Just as long as the first one, 27 and a half, but you know, not that long, pretty short, but the gut on him makes him a, a nine and a half pounder just about, nine pounds, six ounces. So, you know, pretty heavy for his length. Nice solid catfish. A little above average again. Weight is well above average. The length is just a little above average probably. I'll let him go. Set up this third rod. Um, doesn't have much line on it though, but it's eight pound test too. A little bit older eight pound test. So hopefully if I get a big fish, it'll be on the middle rod. <laughs> if really slowing down getting to fish every like 40 minutes at best now before it was every minute <laughs> when I got here every minute or a couple minutes yeah I just don't want this guy to go out to the middle because then it'll spool me on this rod I can deal with him when he's right in front of me oh this is cool this is all a shelf right here because it's flooded so I can walk out on it Keep walking. Yeah, another cat looks like. I think. Cool. It's a smaller guy. There we go. Oh, not in the junk, please. Oh boy. First one to try and go in the junk there. Didn't quite get in though. It's good. I don't know what this is, but it, it's not very heavy, but it's fighting weird. Maybe a little catfish? Awfully hard, hard fighting little fish. I don't know how many more fish I'm going to get today. It's really slowing down. Maybe not that little. I guess. It really depends what type of fish it is, of course.
it's gotta be a catfish it's going way down to the bottom over and over again dogging it and look at the brown line from all the mud that's why it sounds all chalky going through the guides Got him over the ledge there. All right. Nope. He's not coming. <laughs> yeah, feisty little cat, looks like. He's got in the junk there. Now he's out. That's what he is. Feisty little catfish. Whoops. All right, there we go. Gotcha. Another channel cat, maybe 23 or so, small guy. Feels more like a cat. Doing better when it's cloudy. I think I remember that holding true before too. Sort of don't hit so great in the sun, this bright sunlight it seems like. Could be wrong though, but that's what I'm noticing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Time to not try to force him. Try to lift him up. Oh man. Not a very big guy, but the little guys are fighting really hard. For how light they are, you know. Small cats, only a few pounds, these ones. These last few, but fighting real hard. Feels pretty heavy. Not another 23, I'd say. Definitely not a 23. <laughs> Could be a 26, but probably not a 23. Could also be a carp, not sure. Feels more like a cat, but could be wrong. Something's up with this. I think there's dirt and stuff in the reel. It's getting all funny. It's not very smooth anymore, the line and the reel together. Hard to get the line to do what I want. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dogging it hard. It's not fighting super hard, but it feels like he has a little weight to him. It's really just swimming along. It hasn't pulled hard. I don't know if it can. Maybe maybe it's crazy pregnant or something with eggs, you know. You know what I mean? Oh yeah just the perfect pull for it too this is the heavy one as long as I don't force him and the hook doesn't pop should be good looks like a cat that's probably a nice one at least decent I'd say Love to break 10 pounds today, that'd be awesome. So far, our biggest one's 9.4. They're just all super, super fat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
He is fighting hard, man. <laughs> hard fighting cat. It's more like what I'm looking for. Hopefully he's not just another 26 or whatever. I hope he's a little bigger. I want one that breaks 30 today. You know, inches. That'd be awesome. I'll stay out of the junk. Oh yeah. Uh, he ain't that big, but he's not a tiny one either. I'll just beach him like that. See how my spot got all flooded? Water's still rising today. Because all the little rivers are feeding into this big river, making it go up. Oh yeah, it's one of the heavier ones probably solid definitely a 27 inch or at least probably eight pounds I'd say maybe All right, another solid channel cat he's uh, 27 three quarters and nine pounds three ounces so second heaviest one of the day by an ounce <laughs> ounce shy of the other one but just a little longer Just a little guy coming in fast. Hardest part is keeping all the junk off the line. There's a lot of crap floating in this this current, especially when you get into the faster half of the current on the current break. That stuff hanging on the line right there. Sometimes a ton of it's hanging off of it, and it really it's like sludge with like the consist consistency of toilet paper. It's really awful. Sometimes there's like a pound of it on the line. It's really making it hard. Let's drag again. Every time I gotta reset it. <laughs> yep, another kitty. All right. On the smaller side. Can bite the mouth here. Right. Yeah. 23, 23 and a half, I guess. Oh, don't cross my line, please. Please. I haven't had that happen yet. I'd rather end it without that happening. It's always bad. It means you have to retie two rigs. <laughs> you know, it takes a while. <sighs> kind of forcing them. Don't want them to cross that. Yeah, he crossed it, but I think he went over it. I hope. Looks like he went over it. Awesome. That is a good deal. Got less than an hour left. Then I'm leaving, I think. It's funny. This is just like an impromptu trip. And I'm nailing them. You know, I just happened to have a hundred night crawlers in the car for no particular reason <laughs> in a cooler, and I had six barrel swivels. I was like, okay, I'll set up three poles with three way slip sinker rigs and give it a go. And then that catfish hit within like two minutes, and that first one, and I was like, okay, it's game on, they're here. <laughs> I'll have to really teach them a lesson tomorrow <laughs> or try to come back with some real catfish baits. Although, you know, these nightcrawlers really are working well, though. 
I must say. But I haven't gotten any monsters yet though, so that's telling me something too. I gotta believe there's a giant catfish somewhere in this massive stretch. Like a really giant one. A trophy. Getting all the, the medium sized ones or whatever. Ten, nine, eight, seven pounders, you know. That's all that dirt and junk and making that, that drag sound like that. It's not good. All this mud turns into dirt in there. Another cat, channel cat. Man, I love doing this. I could do this all week and all next week and until it ends. <laughs> I could do this for a long time. As long as my arms don't fall off. Yep, yeah, a little better one. Maybe average ish. Maybe a little, oh, well, probably average weight, a little bit below average length, something like that. Because he's real fat, just like the others. A lot, of, a lot of egg ones, maybe 25. This guy's making a run for it. Just setting that rig back up and, or not really setting it up, but rebaiting it. This guy started peeling drag. Well, he rolled out there. It's not enormous, but not a tiny one. Better in low 20s, I would guess. If he's a cat, probably a cat. Okay, well, I'll make sure I don't that junk there. There's more junk there than I thought. A lot of it's underwater. is they always stay down they're always clipping on the bottom and crap and whenever there's like a ledge right right here you got to lift them over it and they're powerful like this one isn't gonna be that big but he's putting up a solid fight that log man <laughs> he really wants that log uh-uh oh, there we go another fatty fat average weight maybe a little below average length something like that Let's try not to splash a camera Sometimes that kills the audio. Yep, just like that. That was my face. Alright, 25 maybe. 24 and a half. Oh, there's a strong fish. Alright. Awesome. Running in a circle. Not that big, but... Not tiny again. <laughs> to cycle through a lot of decent fish to find a big one. Actually, he's coming in really fast, man. Shoot. <laughs> okay, maybe he's small. Uh, this might be the last one. I'm not sure. I might get another. Not too long until I gotta go. Wish I could stay here all, all night. Well, maybe not all night, but at least till dark, that'd be great, but 
don't think I can. Yeah, just a feisty guy. <laughs> I'm using my pants like a rod holder. <laughs> my arms are tired. <sighs> Dogging it. Hard fighting cat. This drag is just awful. Gotta get better equipment once I get money. Yeah, he's good sized. It's not, okay, maybe it seemed a little thicker. It's not tiny at least. Real fat one. <laughs> Just like all the others, like all the spawners are right here. A little better one. It's got a little head on him. A bit of shoulder. Alright, Just gotta be careful not to splash the camera. Best way to do that is eliminate the water. Alright. Come to my beer for ya. Yeah, that's a better one. You know, not the best one of the day, but a good one. A little bit above average, just a little. Probably a seven pounder. 26 maybe, 26 and a half. Maybe 27. Okay, he's the fourth one I think today to break eight pounds. Got two over nine pounds and then two between eight and nine. He's 26 and three quarters and eight pounds, two ounces. So, you know, another decent channel cat for sure. There he goes.